Meet Don Kemsley, a truck driver from Sarnia who's spending some time at the Parkwood Institute in London to undergo therapy after his recent addition of a leg prosthetic. I broke down when I first got it. I was happy. I still get emotional about it. Kemsley describes himself as someone who likes to go with the flow and doesn't take himself too seriously. I told my nurses the other day I found my prosthetic leg sitting out in the hall. And they said, what was it doing there? And I said, well, it's restless leg syndrome. Despite his rather positive outlook on life, he admits that he was in a dark place the few months after his initial surgery. I went into depression. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to see anybody. While Don was lucky to have his wife by his side, not all amputees have that constant support, an issue fellow amputee Gerald LaHaye is attempting to solve. It's just to get together, talk about the challenges that you're going through, support each other, because a lot of times it's just about talking and talking to somebody with a lived experience. LaHaye lost both of his legs to diabetes and faced his own share of challenges during the recovery period. I ended up killing myself uh, in April of 2017. Just everything uh, piled up on top of me and I ended up killing myself. I was found dead. Uh, I was brought back twice. And it was at that moment almost, you know, we're coming up on almost three years ago where I made the decision that this is not the way I wanted to live. Not wanting anyone to suffer the same way he did, Lahey well, founded the Amputee Support Group of London in hopes of reaching out to other amputees in the area. I'm not a professional. I'm not clinical, but I'm going to hold your hand a little bit to help you get through this so that you understand that while, yeah, it's a life-changing experience, it's a setback. There's been no official first meeting planned yet, and the numbers are still small, but yeah. LaHaye remains confident that the group will succeed. It's all going to start with, you've lost a leg, you're in the hospital, and a guy with lived experience is going to go walk in and say, so, you've lost a leg. As for Don, he's doing his best to stay positive. <laughs> there is one phrase that I saw and it was a double amputee and somebody come up and said how can you be so positive without your legs and his response was how can you be so negative with yours. Evan Johnson, Fanshawe TV.